so we have a 2015 uh, Ford Transit and it's for sale. Here's some of the flaws that I can see. Uh, I haven't checked on the oil yet, but it's a relatively new car, so most things look good probably. Don't see any major oil leaks. Car's been driving fine. U turns, left turns, all those. Little fender bender here. Here's the obvious things. Then we have a gas cap missing, which happens to break all the time. We have a dent here. Uh, we have brand new tires, all four Cooper, Discover, HT3, and it's 235, 65, 16. Uh, so because new tires, we don't know how there's any alignment issues or anything. Um, it was replaced with Alejo. And we have a bump here. And we have a U-Haul hitch with no uh, wiring for a trailer, just to buy a butt wrap. I can see some plastic open here and plastic open there. This is non privacy glass version. And we have a big old dent here. Um, you can see the dent. And up here, we have bike racks. So there's like one, two, three, four, five, maybe eight of them or something. And this car is rattling when I drive. And this thing is coming off and cutting into the paint. And it came out of the hole there. So maybe this thing backed up into a tree or something. Um, I see a lot of foot steps here. The roof is not perfectly perfect anymore. It's going to be, have to be treated or else rust is going to build up. And probably the clear coat has a lot of scratches because it's been stepped on. And See if we can get this rack open. So we can see the inside. This is the back of the van. Looks like you have tight to come out and we have the rear seats that can be removed that uh, somebody bumped it I think recently uh, we have signs of glass don't know where is that from this it will go all right and so then we have locking mechanisms here to lock and unlock. Uh, this is the non-privacy glass version and the version that the windows don't pop out. But the roof looks good and all the flooring carpet looks great. Um, I hear that the heat's supposed to come from the bottom and the AC comes from the top. Uh, driving is good. We have this emergency latch here. And that's the interior. These are the seats. And we have cup holders on both sides and a 112 volt power supply. And this thing is a little bit up. Don't know why that is. The formation of it is bolted up. So. That's that. Check the interior. This door opens and closes good. Kind of just makes a little bit of noise. And minor stains here and there from just normal use. Um, and that's is that. Check out the roof from this point of view. Let's take a look down here from standing. And don't know 
we have so much rust, but the bike racks look like, oh, here, it's coming apart up here too. So, I don't know who installed this, but it's, the rivets came out. Either for normal use or they hit some tree or something. But major root problems up here. And rust in the front there. Some knickknacks. Let's try out the key. This is the key here. The key works good there. good there. It doesn't look like anything's been repainted. So getting this door back in, you probably have to push down and just work on it. From the outside, slam it in. So, you know what happened is, well, I'm, this is my assumption, is that right here because it's just getting stuck on that, so you just kind of have to force it over it. See what I'm oh, saying? Okay, lift it up. Or, yeah, just like force it over it. I just, I just pushed hard. I didn't lift it, I just pushed hard. Push hard? Yeah. Oh, yeah. jack here yep. and then to get the spare tire out you put some tool in here to, to lower it and somewhere there's probably a tool kit somewhere yep. right where I'm sitting, right where I'm sitting I'll show you. okay gotcha so let's close this up Emergency tools. Let me do this again with two hands. particular version. And let's check out the lights. So the side mirrors work. I'll check that out. The heater and the air conditioning works. The windows are open up nice. There's auto up on this side. Um, here is the lights. Oh yeah, you can uh, signal and turn on the emergency lights for me. Sure. Let me give you the keys. Uh, I don't think I need it to signal. I don't need the key to signal. 
Okay, gotcha. Oh yeah, it's signaling all right. Other side signaling, good. Good, signals are good there. Did I leave the key with you? The key is in here. Okay, maybe uh, turn it on and go reverse. Hold on to the brakes so I can see the brake lights. All right, brake light works. Brake light works. Good. That's good. And then um, just turn on the emergency lights. Okay, everything is flashing there. All right, flashing good. All right, you can shut down the lights in the in the car. And the last thing now is going to check on the oil. Oh, how many keys does the car come with? It has two. It has one like this, and one is a copy that is like a, a doesn't have buttons. Okay, and. Uh, do you know these are the type of keys where you need a chip? There's a chip in there? Um, that one is. The other one is not a chip. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to put the phone down. dots here and we've been parked for maybe like a minute and so some of the oil is probably dripped down already and let's push the distance in and oil level looks good and it looks clean I haven't checked on the transmission fluid but again the car's so new most things should be good And the spark plugs don't look like they're that hard to change. So it's a 2015 MYVV FFV gasoline eth eth gasoline slash ethanol, California certified, ultra low vehicle two qualified, and then it's a 3.7 liter with nothing adjusting. Easy fuel. How do you take out the gas cap? You just hold it in. You don't, how do you take it out? Oh, you just, you just put it, it in. You just put it straight in. Oh, okay. You just put it straight in. That's how they do it? Yeah. And so what it, it mm -hmm. used to be like this, so you like open it, and it had like a little like lip that keep that kept it like kind of closed, let's say. Yeah. Um, so, because like, that's fine. It's so they, they don't have a gas cap like a regular car. No, huh? it's just like this, like one. It's like so it pops in right here and it goes like this. Okay. Um, and it, it, it's the I don't know what that was faulty, but it just. I and it's it's, it's interesting. You'll see it next, like like notice now like all of these cars, these types of transit, a lot of them are missing the gas. It's really a bad design. Okay, and it says like. In the front, it says like you can handle ethanol. Have you ever tried that? I have not tried, tried ethanol. Oh, did anybody tell you it can do ethanol? I. 4,082 gross vehicle weight. I, did, I have not discussed that with anyone. Okay. Um, I don't know. 
Okay. Two thirty-five, sixty-five, seventeen. And this car is. Uh, it's priced around the seven twenty fifteen. And then, what else can we say about this car? Everything works. And driving is good. Um, we haven't got it on the freeway yet, but it looks like it's going straight. And that's that.